Some swimmers on the central coast are noticing red murky waters at local beaches, which experts say shouldn't impact your weekend plans to hit the coast. These conditions are expected for this time of year. High concentrations of phytoplankton or tiny plant like creatures in the ocean can cause what's often described as a red tide. Late summer and early fall are prime conditions for algae to grow rapidly and in high numbers. Just like plants on land, different species take on different colors, like a dark green hue or can become illuminated at night. While it raises concerns for beachgoers, experts say there is no direct impact on humans. Some of these organisms and just a small fraction of the species do produce toxins. But again, we're less worried about direct contact with those toxins and more if organisms like mussels and clams eat the algae, those toxins get accumulated. And so it can be dangerous to eat those um, organisms. And so we do measure toxins and keep track of that. But Cal Poly students regularly collect samples from the Cal Poly Pier and from Morro Rock. A student Elisa Romanini monitors algae levels and is seeing elevated concentrations in some areas. In the, at the Morro Bay site this week, we saw um, like super elevated concentrations of Akashuo, which also like helped us realize like, that's probably the culprit for what we're seeing in Pizno as well. Because conditions and tides are constantly changing, blooms can last from days to months. But in general, a variety of blooms are expected to make appearances throughout the fall.